Hello Aries. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsche here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this will be a love reading. And I will be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. Or the person you want to be connecting with romantically. I'll be looking into what it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you. Do keep in mind this is a general reading, so it will not resonate for every Aries out there. And the period I'm covering is from mid-October to the end of October 2020. So keep in mind that time is fluid. And so the cards that I'll be pulling out, some of the situations and scenarios, you might have already gone through this or you might be going through this uh, right now. Or it might happen in the far future. Alright, the deck I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck. Oh boy. <laughs> so we have Fear as the first card. Mothering. Feelings and emotions. And we have compassion. Creativity. Right, synthesis. Sensuality. And then we have centering. Under the bottom of the deck, we have energy. All right, so hopefully you guys can see these cards. So Aries, I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently. My dear Aries, I'm afraid to approach you. You make me quite nervous. There's things that have happened in this connection that have been very overwhelming very tense, to the point where I almost feel paranoid. There are things that have happened that I've said, and I can't change that, but approaching you itself scares me because I get very nervous. But if I don't approach you, I also have fear. I feel afraid that I may lose you. In you, I have found someone who is so nurturing and caring, protecting even. You give me nourishment and you provide me with this nurturing energy where I feel whole. And I've come to realize now that I really do have so much feelings and emotions towards you. And I feel compassion towards you. 
I know there are certain needs that you have that need to be fulfilled. And I also know that you need someone in your life, someone to take care of you. I want to be that person because I see even though you smile, there is sadness in your eyes. There is something that is lacking and I want to give this to you. I want to be that person that takes care of you. I feel empathy, compassion. And I know you need this, but you deny it. There's things about this connection where I want to create something with you, something for the world to see that would be long lasting. I also feel that in this connection, there is a lack of peace and harmony right now. And I feel the need to have peace and harmony. I would like to bring to surface things that have been on my mind, things that have been hiding deep in the forest, in the shade of the trees, things that I keep to myself. And it's hard for me not to think about you because you are so sensual. I think of you in so many ways. You are so handsome. You are so beautiful. You're so attractive. It is difficult for me to not think about you. There is a part of you that makes me feel very much balanced. There is a sense of the yin and the yang. If I am the moon, then you are the sun. This is how strong I feel that we do have some spiritual connection. And overall, the spiritual connection really does stir up my chakras and start spinning them. And you have a way of turning my kundalini on. I feel as though I'm encompassed by this energy and you are part of this energy. I feel as though you are part of who I am. But for now, all I can say is that I'm quite nervous. Too nervous to express to you how I feel. All right, Aries, that was nice. It was sweet. These cards are very nice, but what's the use of having all this when the person's not even communicating the way that they should? This is all up to them. They can either make it or break it with you. What I do find unique in your connection here is you had two cards that were spiritual based cards. This could be, and I don't say this lately, a soulmate connection or a twin flame connection because there's a lot of um, energy in terms of spirituality here. Okay, so we have my beginner's tarot deck cards here. So. I'll be looking into, wow, this literally just flew out. Soulmate, you remember I just said soulmate. Six of Cups. That is a soulmate card. Someone from your past life is connecting with you, Aries. Now, I don't believe this may resonate for a lot of people. It does seem to be getting quite specific now. Um, I'll be looking into the the emotions, not the emotions, but the intentions and the actions or the plans that this person may have towards you. Okay. You may be dealing with someone that has a lot of fire energy. 
It doesn't have to be a fire sign. This just could mean that the person you're dealing with has a lot of passion, a lot of attraction towards you. Then you have the Eight of Wands. I don't do reversals, but some of the cards are popping up upside down. All right. It's because the whole deck is upside down. I wasn't holding it upright. Anyway. Um... <clears throat> All right, guys, this actually seems amazing, Aries. Under the bottom of the deck, though, you do have Four of Swords. Okay, so there is a lot of thinking going on in this person's mind. First of all, they feel as though there is a connection between you and them in, the pa in a past life, but they also feel that whatever memories they have with you in this lifetime, they have been very sweet, they have been very innocent, and they just want to recreate all of those things that have happened because they want to relive those beautiful memories again. Now, you have the Queen of Wands. This is somebody, Aries, that finds you utterly irresistible. They can't stop thinking about you passionately. They actually have a lot of passion. They want to express themselves physically with you to you. The next card you have here is the Eight of Wands. You remember the fear card that we just had in the beginning where there was a lot of paranoia, anxiety, being afraid, um, being nervous. So this person does want and they will. They want to reach out to you. Why do they want to reach out so fast? Because they're actually afraid, the fear, of losing you now. This may have been an ongoing issue between the both of you where things were not working and moving fast enough. So now suddenly they realize that a lot of time has gone by and they don't want to waste any more time and they wish to be rushing into your life again. However, before they do anything, they are going to be in the Four of Swords mode where they will be resting, recuperating, regenerating, thinking about what has happened, just literally thinking about the connection and not really dealing with anything at that time, but there's going to be a lot of contemplating. However, the intentions are very good. Okay. We have the Lover's Path Tarot. I'm going to put these cards back. I haven't shuffled properly. Judgment and the King of Staffs, for those of you who are interested. So, with the Lover's Path Tarot, I'll be looking... Okay. <laughs> there you are. Traditionally, the Ten of Cups is very good, but since I'm reading this in the negative aspect, it will not be so great. Okay. Then you have the Two of Cups. These are truly beautiful cards. So this person really does have a lot of emotions and love, pure love for you, Aries. Um, however, there are obstacles. Now, with you in the past, Aries, they've had a satisfactory emotional life. When things were good, it was actually pretty good. They felt very abundant. They had deep emotional satisfaction. However, what's happening now is that they are feeling dissatisfied and they really don't know why they're feeling dissatisfied. Even though everything does look perfect on the surface, they're finding an inability to experience joy. This is because there is some distance between the both of you and this person has unresolved issues from other places. Um, it does talk about family as well, so they actually may be having some issues with um, responsibilities perhaps, or um, some other type of burdens or responsibilities that are taking up their energy and not letting them be close to as they would like to. 
Then you have the Two of Cups. Hmm. This is the main issue. So originally they felt very much enchanted, very much in love with you, but what's come to the surface now is that this person is feeling that perhaps this was simply infatuation with the Aries. They were overindulging for the sake of getting an emotional high. Like literally, in the book it says, emotional high. <laughs> so this person gets emotionally fulfilled. They get their emotional high when they were or when they are with you but this is not it's not healthy because it needs to be more long term there shouldn't just be somebody that is infatuated if you're looking for love it's not just that um, and this is why they're feeling unsatisfied because they're searching for the wrong type of emotion they need to be looking at everything as the entirety they need to look at emotions plus love plus the lust part, everything has to be together. Um, what's happening here is there's more infatuation and they're getting their emotional high, but what happens after it's all done, when things get back to normal and you get back to life, um, that high is gone. This is why this person is feeling unsatisfied because they're looking at the wrong things and they don't really know what a real relationship should be like. I would almost say this person is, they lack wisdom in terms of love and relationships, Aries. All right, I'm just going to do a quick pair on my cards here. So this is Archangel Answer Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. No. <laughs> First card is the strongest. Hmm. Improving health. So it does seem as though there have been some health issues. Holy smokes, guys. You got another no. All right, this is definitely a message for a lot of you people, and this is quite serious because this has to do with health issues. Let's see. Okay, so you have within the next few weeks and then you are ready, communicate clearly. The situation will improve, that's a good one, okay. Haha, <laughs> a year from now, oh boy. All right guys, so I have to like twist this thing around a bit. I don't want it to be out of alignment. So a lot is going on, Aries. You may have had you may have had some serious health issues with this person because of this person. And what the angels are saying, and this message is brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. What they're saying is that within the next few weeks your health will improve. There is going to be uh, improvement. In the past, you may have been very stressed, even depressed, maybe a lot of anxiety. But keep in mind that certain things that you are thinking about in this connection, there seems to be a lack of understanding from your part. You don't understand this person as well as you would like to know, okay? You don't understand this person. This is an issue because there's been a lack of communication. This is why I'm saying this. There's been certain assumptions, certain ideas. 
you may think that this person may reject you whereas they actually will not they just simply are nervous as heck they just don't know how to deal with the situation and you may be thinking that this person doesn't love me anymore that's not the case there is, here is clearly something that's going on where it's affected your health due to lack of communication or misunderstanding but understand that within the next few weeks things are actually going to start get better for you especially regarding your health the angels are saying that you're ready to communicate with this person and when you do the situation will improve the effects of this will not occur overnight from now until the next 12 months things will start to change and they will start to get better a year from now you're going to be in a very different place with this person this person will be by your side a year from now and both of you will want to literally explore the world and you will want to be with one another and you will want to enlighten one another this does seem to me as though it is a divine reunion there is something going on here where it's a spiritual connection but you have had a lot of health issues and you have been stressing over this person like crazy you literally have no and then no and then improving health there's been some type of idealism or something that you had in your mind and it's not been it's not the way that you think it is there's something different here you will have to communicate clearly with this person all right guys and that is your reading please let me know if this resonated for a few of you i hope it resonated for quite a few of you um thank you so much once again for your love and support it's truly appreciated and for those of you who are new i hope you enjoyed the reading all right guys i will see you in november until then stay safe take care and definitely stay positive all right now bye